Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another lesson. Tonight, we're going to be working on another Build Your Vocabulary lesson in the Build Your Vocabulary Advanced section. This is going to be number six. You know what we have to do? We have to get our work screen, and here it is. So now, if you've done lessons one through five in the Build Your Vocabulary Advanced section, you already know that having a strong and large vocabulary is necessary for communicating with others, reading, writing, listening, and speaking in English. I chose words for you that are not typically found in a basic English program, but nonetheless are very important and very common English words. So I want you guys to learn these words by heart and incorporate them into your daily speaking whenever possible. Okay, here are the eight words that we're going to be learning tonight. We have indifferent, audacity, ghastly, turmoil, outrageous, boisterous, the verb to condone, and simultaneously. So let's see these words in action in our sample sentences. So we're going to start with the verb to condone. And this means to accept and allow morally wrong or offensive behavior to continue. Our school doesn't condone violence. So if you are caught fighting in the schoolyard, you will be suspended or maybe even expelled. Mr. Richards told us at the beginning of the school year that he doesn't condone rude and disrespectful behavior in his class. It doesn't mean that I condone his irrational statements. I am just trying to understand why he said those things. Of course, I don't condone stealing, but the guy was obviously hungry. Tell me what he stole and I will pay for it. Fortunately, we are protected by the law as it does not condone the violation of our rights and freedoms. Now we're going to be looking at the word indifferent. And indifferent means showing a complete lack of interest in something or someone. Of no importance, one way or the other. Neutral, or just not good or bad. I'm never going back to that restaurant. The service was slow. The prices were too high. The floors were dirty and the food was just indifferent. She won't vote in the next election either. She has always been indifferent to politics and politicians. He is the coordinator of the organization, but he appears to be indifferent to the needs of others. The indifferent look on his face made it impossible to know if he was angry or pleased with the decision. Edward was always confident, focused, and quite indifferent to what others said about him. Now we have ghastly which means terrifying, horrible, or unpleasant. She made a ghastly mistake and she spent the last three days trying to fix it. I read the ghastly details about the accident in the newspaper this morning. 
Bear me the ghastly details, please. Her dress was absolutely ghastly and not appropriate for the occasion, but nobody wanted to tell her. Tim's party was so much fun and we all left after midnight. Today, I feel just ghastly. Our long awaited vacation was ruined by the constant ghastly weather. What a ghastly and inappropriate thing to say. What were you thinking? I could tell by the ghastly look on his face that he wasn't impressed. Now we're going to do the word simultaneously, which means occurring at the same time. He was simultaneously watching TV, playing video games, and doing his homework. The students were listening to the professor while simultaneously taking notes. We are looking for someone to fill this position that has a university degree, a positive attitude, and can perform multiple tasks simultaneously. The chefs, prep cooks, and line cooks worked simultaneously to prepare the meal for the big event. You can run these programs on your computer simultaneously. I was able to upload the picture simultaneously to all the platforms. Audacity means taking bold risks, disrespectful behavior, having the courage to do or say something that others consider to be rude or offensive. It took a lot of audacity for her to interrupt and correct her professor during class. She had the audacity to attend the ceremony without even being invited. I can't believe he had the audacity to ask me to work his shift on the holiday weekend. Knowing that it didn't make financial sense, Mike was the only one that had the audacity to challenge his manager. Skydiving is an activity that takes courage, audacity, and skill. The audacity of his proposal shocked and angered everyone in the room. Outrageous, shocking, offensive, unacceptable, beyond the standards of what is right and acceptable, excessively above what is considered normal or usual. My phone bill was outrageous last month. I will have to get a plan for international calling. I use public transportation to commute to and from work because the cost of parking downtown is outrageous. Where did you find that outrageous costume? It's perfect for the costume party. This is outrageous. Do you really think that I will clean up all this mess from your party? You will clean it up alone. It seemed like an outrageous idea at the time, but we tried it and to our surprise, it worked. The media made outrageous claims about her that were later proven to be false. Boisterous means wild, energetic, noisy, turbulent, loud and lively. The boisterous puppies played 
ran, jumped, and barked in the yard for hours. The audience burst into uncontrollable, boisterous laughter. As the, vi as the violent wind and waves raged on, the captain yelled out boisterous commands to his crew. Your son may be an angel at home, but he is boisterous and disruptive in class every day. We asked our waiter to find us another table far away from the boisterous tourists sitting beside us. We could hear the boisterous conversations of the townspeople from down the hall. Turmoil means in a state of extreme confusion, uncertainty, disturbance, disorder, or anxiety. She had so many notes to study for the exam and her mind was in turmoil. My grandfather was born and raised in the turmoil of the 1930s. The political instability and turmoil will surely affect the country's economy. I was in a state of emotional turmoil for days until I finally had enough courage to tell him now I feel so much better. We could clearly see the turmoil that she was feeling in her beautiful green eyes. And there you have it. You have eight new beautiful vocabulary words that you can use every day when you're speaking, reading, writing, watching TV, watching series on TV, listening to the radio, music, anything. These words are everywhere for you to enjoy. Okay, so if that video helped you, you can subscribe to my channel. You can put a little like on the video and you can leave a comment below. You can also hit the notification bell. That way you will know when I put up a new video that will help you even more. If you guys are struggling with your English and you want to improve quickly, you can get yourselves a copy of Basic English, the third edition, written right here, third edition. This book is published by McGraw-Hill and available everywhere, including Amazon. If you get a copy of this book, I want you guys to start on the first page, complete every single page right through to the end of the book. The answer key is at the back to support you while you are learning. If you're having difficulty with your verb tenses, you can get yourselves a copy of English Verb Tenses, also available on Amazon. If you get a copy of this book, I want you guys to start on the first page, complete every single page right through to the end of, of the book. The answer key is at the back to support you while you are learning. This will really help you to not just understand, but to master your English verb tenses, which so many people tell me that they have difficulty with. Also, there are plenty of other videos on my YouTube channel that you guys will really benefit from. Also, I have a new Facebook page. It's called Learn English with Julie Lachance. You can check that out. We can meet up over there. Okay, so I said everything I have to say. So I'm gonna wish you a pleasant evening and I will see you all in the next video. So good night for now.